it was really a response uh, and, and it was a response to people saying that smallholders couldn't be certified in any way um, and also we had relationships with different mills, RSBO certified mills and we just saw that there was a missing piece so we said well let's try and do something to create a system that you can group smallholders and allow them to be RSBO certified and that was really the I guess the birth of Wild Asia, the group scheme. So the first problem was just simply a technical one. Uh, how do you make certification possible for groups of smallholders? Um, what I think we've realized over the last 10 years is uh, you need to have people who are living and working in these remote places uh, to be able to learn some of the skills involved to make this possible for the long term. Kabun saya 13 sikar. Jadi saya mula menyertai di Wix Wilasia di kampung ini bermula 2012 kami dapat persijilan 2013. Uh, terapi hidup kemajuan memang sangat bagus dapat membeli lori kereta ada dua boleh bawa jalan-jalan pergi enjoy juga dengan guna ini duit sawit lah hmm, dan juga satu lagi penemban anak saya dulu pergi iu pakai duit sawit juga lah uh, nama saya Kunika Binti Tangkian uh, saya berasal daripada Kampung Teniting Uh, saya mengikuti Wil Asia lebih kurang 10 tahun sudah. Uh, daripada inisiatif saya untuk ini ke ke kebun kecil ini Wil Asia, saya dapat rumah baru, saya dapat kereta, saya boleh kasih sekolah anak saya. Saya rasa teruskan saya lah perjalanan ini Wil Asia. Sebab bukan apa dari segi pengurusan, dari segi apa semua, uh, mungkin taraf hidup kebun itu akan meningkat. Saya rasa ada bagusnya YSM daripada tidak ada. How have we evolved? Um, I think that you know, sort of shifting from simply looking at certification as the end result to realizing that it was about people and farmers, and realizing fundamentally it was about the soils. Uh, the land and how we manage land. Where, we, where are we and where are we going is actually realizing how important biodiversity is, but not just from an orangutan perspective or just from you know, keeping forests on farms, uh, but more fundamental. And so teaching farmers what is that, how to do this, uh, how to make those changes in the farms, I think this is setting us into a whole new kind of pathway and, and it's kind of like an exciting pathway for us.